Yo guys, what's up? Well, you know, I was on the internet on, on eBay, my eBay here in Holland. It's called Marketplace, marketplaats.nl. And up there, you know, I get all my old laptops and I also sell my laptops up there. Most of them to trade them for another one that I didn't put up like a movie star yet. And today, I'm also uh, very happy again. And you guys are like, uh, what laptop will it be today, you know? And I'm going to show you. It's a, a very special laptop. It's a very, very special laptop because this is a Pentium MMX processor. So this is a 233 MHz laptop. But the cutest thing of this laptop, my friends, is I got it with Windows 98. But can you see that? Let me turn the cam for you so you can see it. You see that? That's Leo. Leo Peugeot Leo. This is a Peugeot laptop and well, you know, you can check out the internet and you won't find a laptop like this. It even has a one USB port. You see that? It has PCMCI and I'm the first one showing this laptop and what I'm doing now, I'm installing Windows XP. So this is part one. Eh? This is part one of the video. It has a two gigabytes hard drive it's copying the files now it's a laptop man I I got it for five euros. five euros this is what I paid for the laptop you know this is how it looks five euros that's about seven seven dollars seven dollars so this is not like a wonderful wonderful performance laptop no it's a collector's item this is a laptop that I will, you know, I will make it a, a DJ laptop because it has a Yamaha sound card in it. So the sound card of this thing should be, should be cool, should be cool, cool enough to uh, play music. And you know what? If you play music with these old laptops, you know, you're dealing with minimal power resources. These things, the processor, 233 megahertz. You guys are running to gigahertz machines now you know how much energy uh, you must use to get these two gigahertz going i mean like if the electricity electricity goes out you know you will be happy with an old machine like this that will let you you know run on 12 on a 12 volt battery like 24 hours that while your two gigahertz laptop you know with this I don't know what kind of processor will be will be empty in a couple of hours and you will be out of energy so this is you know very nice it's it's really nice to see a laptop like this in my collection and this is not for sale or somebody you know that really understands the value of this thing you know maybe they they can do me an offer you know but I'm not I'm never buying a laptop to make profit on it or to sell it. I'm not a salesman. This is the um, adapter and as you can see it gives uh, 100 to 240 volts. Only one ampere. You see that? One ampere. Try that with one of these other laptops. One ampere. You will not succeed. So, and it, it uses uh, output 20 volts. So this is like a 20 volt. 20 volt uh, laptop, you know, it's still installing. It has a 96 megabyte RAM, and I must tell you, my friends, this thing I'm really happy with it. You know, I uh, I got it together with uh, this laptop. I, I bought this one for 15 euros, but the video card is not so not so good. But we're not gonna look at that laptop. That's an Asus, eh? Asus. So. Yeah, I tried to polish it. I, you know, but as you can see, it. This thing, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna spray it. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it, and then you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I probably, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But this laptop, my friends, it looks like new. Look at all these caps. They look so brand new. This is such a beautiful laptop. And you know what? I've been checking YouTube. I've been checking the internet. And I cannot find no Leo laptop of this kind. I cannot find a picture or whatever of this laptop inside, you know. I know it was designed for Windows 95. So that means Windows 95 has all the drivers 
for this thing so also windows 98 but then again the sound was not supported and i don't want windows 98 on this thing i want xp on this thing xp and i want the light version of xp on this baby a light version one that i created myself you know made light myself you know you know all know i have the orange original uh, cd and with n light i created a light version just you know play around and test machines with and i must say this machine is doing great uh on uh, on the install until now i got no error no no error telling me uh this file cannot be blah 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 and whatever so soon it will boot up windows xp and how that will go you will see in my second video so in part two you will see uh, this thing booting windows xp and playing music and i'm even gonna let it go on the internet because i'm gonna do that with the Swix, uh wi-fi wireless card and you all know this Swix. this is a very good card because it has you it uses uh the 2500 uh chipset of um what was it again um of uh, a driver that is also um supported in mac os x so you know i'm really happy that i have this thing again this sweeks wi-fi card you know it's uh, based on the rt 2500 so when you select that in os 86 you know this card you will have wi-fi so uh, i'm gonna put wi-fi on this thing as well not to watch youtube not to do whatever maybe to read the news no nah. Just to let you see that it will work and that if you are really really poor and you really really don't have nothing you could you know still use this thing as a usable little laptop at least to listen uh, to music and maybe even play some MPEG-1 video you know old uh, video with a uh, Windows format should work should work. We'll have to see about that if this thing can play MIDI files for me And if it can, if it can play some mp3 files for me, it's all good. I'll get back to you after the install So thank you for watching and make sure you also be there to watch part 2 that will come out a uh, little later this uh, afternoon Thank you for watching for now until part 2